I don't think it's LiDAR that's driving this, but LiDAR is a core enabler of, to make this happen. Artificial intelligence is, is a, an absolute uh, essential component going forward, and Teledyne has a lot of core strength in that space. One of our divisions, the scientific and imaging, has many years of experience in that area. And so, uh, artificial intelligence, the purpose is really to be able to, to do the di difficult things that humans today have to do manually and be able to push that to enable a computer to do that on its own, faster, obviously cheaper, push it to the cloud when you have infinite cores and so on. So we're absolutely involved in that space. We have algorithms in that area. We are exploring a, a lot of various uh, opportunities, whether it's automatic asset extraction and so forth. Uh, artificial intelligence is absolutely going to be a core component of our solutions going forward. I think autonomous cars, that's been a dream of humanity for a very long time, right? I mean, movies were showing this decades ago. So I don't think it's LiDAR that's driving this. But LiDAR is a core enabler of, to make this happen, whether it's active sensors on the vehicles to be able to do obstacle avoidance, detection, and so forth, or, as I said earlier, the base maps that these vehicles need as a fundamental infrastructure layer in order to enable this technology to get to market much quicker. So we're at both ends, on the vehicle and generating the data set that enables them. But I, I wouldn't be so arrogant to think that LiDAR is what drives the vehicle, it's the other way around. We're an enabling technology. Well, Optic is a, is a global company. We have been from, from the very beginning. So we don't pick and choose. Of course, we, we try to foster business everywhere. But there is no doubt that there are some areas that are showing a lot more growth potential than others. And if, if you look, and for different reasons, if you look, for example, in North America, all the work that's being done on autonomous vehicles, there's a whole layer of, of more accurate data that is needed. There was already, I'll call it mapping grade data that existed. It's not good enough. We need higher precision, higher accuracy data. So there's a, a whole lot of work to be done in that space, in Europe, in North America. In other areas of the world, if you look at, for example, Southeast Asia, Africa, certainly, infrastructure is booming. So again, the ability to be able to provide data to, to intelligently plan this infrastructure development, whether it's roads, rail, airports, you name it. So I don't see any shortage of work across the world. China, naturally, a lot of growth still. Cities are growing very fast. So there is no shortage of work wherever you look, but it's not necessarily the same kind of work. And so it's not a one size fits all solution for these areas. So actually, I, I was in business development and moved to a COO role and more recently general management. Uh, it's been fascinating for me because as a scientist by training, although I do have a business background as well, I was focusing more, much more on the technology and, and not so much on necessarily the, the customer base. So for me, the, the most exciting part has been really going out, meet our clients, hear firsthand what they like about our products, but also what their challenges are, what they, they wish that they could do. Because that's always been the discussion that our clients have had with Optech. We like this, but we would like to do that. Do you think you can help us do that? Optech has always been the innovator in the industry in that respect. So to be at the forefront of that, to be able to interact directly is very exciting for me. And if you look, it's not just Apple, it's Google. Both are, are very prolific, obviously, patent companies. Uh, however, there is a lot of prior art already out there. So I, I don't see that it's necessarily going to affect our business directly. Um, I, I need to look more closely at each one of these patents. Uh, I, I'm not involved at that level quite. I mean, we have other people who are more versed in that space. Uh, but this technology is not new, again. There are certainly new technologies like SLAM, for example, and, and there's always attempts by these large companies to try to carve out and protect that space. But there's so much prior art, there's so much involvement already in, in that area that I don't think that ultimately it's going to prevent players from being able to be active. But we'll have to look obviously on a case-by-case -case basis and understand. Uh, and very often, I mean, we already, we talk, we collaborate often with some of these uh, companies. So. I don't see that it's going to fundamentally affect our business, but we need to look at each patent individually to make that call. I certainly don't want to be 
the genius with a thousand helpers. That's not the, the style I want to have. I want to be more, in fact, uh, uh, in the background, have great people working with me that really run the business. So I, I don't have to be involved firsthand. However, I love the technology, I love the, the applications, the customer base, so I can't help but being involved hands-on myself. So but, uh, what I look for is a solid team so that we can all uh, participate in and really drive the business. But also, uh, as I said earlier, I really enjoy working with our clients, getting to know them, and solving problems. That's what we do, that's what we're here for. So it's always good to hear that clients appreciate what we do, but what really excites me is when clients say, I have this problem, do you think you can help us fix it? That's what I like to do.